looking to create a fun light up Christmas tree ornament that can house your favorite picture. This one is really fun. It is all made with sewable electronics and some other top fixings. It's quick and easy. So all you need is a two button battery board uh, because one is just going to make all these five LEDs fade really fast. Then five sewable LEDs and then whatever fixings you want to put on top of it. I chose these clear little light bulb things that I found at Hobby Lobby that really made it look like real lights on my Christmas tree ornament and I love it. So let's get started in learning how to create this fun light up ornament. First, I love to test my LEDs. Then make sure, making sure I have all my materials, I'm going to stiffen up my felt. I found a sticky back stiff felt, felt that I then stuck to my regular sparkly felt. This gave it a little bit extra stiffness so I knew that it would be a great ornament. Next, I traced my pattern out onto my felt. I used a white chalk pencil uh, because it was the best thing that was actually showing up. Now it is time to cut out the ornament. I cut out the general shape first and then I went back in and did the details. To cut out this centerpiece, I found that if I used a seam ripper to open up a hole, I could then get my scissors in easier. Check to make sure they look great together and it's time to add the battery. So first we got to strip off that rubber coating on the outside, silicone coating on the outside twist the wires together and repeat on the other side. So strip off the coating and twist. And there we have it. Now you want to make sure you know the positive from the negative. So the negative has those white dashes on it. You can see there. You can double check that from the checking on the inside um, that it is the negative. So I'm going to then hot glue. I hate hot glue, but sometimes it's necessary. I'm gonna hot glue it to my felt to really secure it in. I could have created a pocket, but I chose not to. While I'm waiting for that to cool and dry, I'm going to thread my needle and then start sewing my wire down to the side. So I need to ensure that I remember which wire is which, or you can easily determine which one is which. You just want to make sure that you always know and double check because if you uh, sew it wrong, you have to redo it and that's never fun. So I'm just whip stitching around the wire all the way down to where the coating ends. And I'm going to tie off just like so. Snip my thread prep my thread for the next time and now I'm going to swirl that wire up into a nice swirl so that using my conductive thread I will be able to stitch around that then it's just time to repeat on the other side whip stitch around the wire all the way down and this one I did it was a little bit had a little bit more length so I just did a fun little curly cue right back up to that side part and tied off. And then it is time to swirl it. Swirl, swirl, swirl. There we go. Now I'm going to sew this back piece, well, which where the, uh, the picture will lay in between the two pieces. So I'm now going to sew this back piece to the front piece, front piece, excuse me. So I'm just whip stitching around, ensuring that I'm not going through the very front of the felt so that it cannot be seen. Uh, and I just work my way around. It takes a little bit because I found that the, uh, <laughs> the stiffer sticky felt caused my needle to get a little sticky and just really made me have to use my thimble. So if you're going to make this with some sticky felt, ensure you have a thimble or something of the sort because it gets difficult to sew sometimes. And let's tie off. There we go. And now it is time to move on to the conductive thread. 
So we're gonna start by sewing at least three times. I actually did more like seven because the wire is not like soldered or a stable thing. I wanted to really ensure that it had a good connection and it was well solid to the felt. So I went around multiple times around the entire swirl. Then I moved out to, my, to the uh, other felt, the front felt. However, I knew that I wanted to start this side with the negative because this was the negative lead. So I didn't go all the way out and all my negatives were gonna be towards the center and all my positives were gonna be towards the outside. So as I push through, I double check that I'm sewing the negative LED port of the LED to my negative ports and I whip stitch again at least three times. Uh, I try to do five, but three is, should be enough. And once I have those, that port well connected, I switch back to the back and I start making my way back down and around to where I am planning to have my second LED. Now the one thing I should have done is actually marked where all my LEDs went. So I'm just gonna quickly lay them out. Do, 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 there we go. Yeah, so that's about where I want it. Um, I would highly recommend marking out on the back where each of those LEDs is desired for you to go. So you're not always guessing and trying to ensure that it's well spaced because it is just kind of a fun little ornament. I wasn't too particular on it, but it is something I would recommend doing in the future. And then it's just time to maneuver all the way around the ornament and ensure that you are always sewing the negatives to the negatives. And as we finish <clears throat> sewing those negative ports, I am going to take a uh, knot off on the top and then, whoops, refeed, and then feed through to the bottom and knot off one more time. This just helps ensure that that thread will not become unraveled. There we go, snip, snip and new thread. Now it's time to do the exact same process. Whoops, I gotta put a knot at the end of this thing. My bad. <laughs> uh, now it's time to do, to do the exact same process except on the positives. So I'm going to sew, sew, sew all the way around this fun little swirly bit of this button uh, thing. And then I'm going to move out to the far edge of the ornament. Now, when I'm moving out, let's see here, you want to ensure that the two threads do not actually touch because you do not want your positives and your negative threads to ever hit because it will cause a short and none of the lights to light up. So when I was going through with my negative thread, I ensured to go through the felt, through the top layer of the felt, and then with the positive, I went over both felts so that this would hopefully cause a nice barrier and I would never have a short in my light up Christmas ornament. And then I'm just going around much like I did for the negatives and ensuring that I sew at least three times around each port and sometimes, and I normally do five. I just like to have that knowledge that I have the really good secure um, connection from port to thread because thread is sometimes temperamental. So uh, I definitely, my fingers were getting a little tired at this point and you definitely will want your thimble ready. So here we go. This is my last LED to sew the positive. Oh, lots of knots, fun, fun, fun. And let's tie off again. I tied off on the front, flipped over to the back and tied off again. There we are. One last time and snip, snip. Now let's find some batteries and test it out. Insert them, make sure they're going the correct direction. 
There we go. Close it up and turn it on. Yes! Oh yeah, I like this. It is now time to add those fun little details. I chose to just put two dabs of hot glue, one on each side, and press it on to right on top of that LED. I also decided to put the these little fun um, Christmas light details going in opposite directions so that it would ensure that you know it was unique. Next, after I have all those LEDs on, it's time to add the fun ribbon to signify the cord. And this you can really go crazy with. I chose a few. I tried a few different ways before I finally ended up with my final thing, my final design. Um, but it's a lot of fun, and this is where you can really let your creativity come out and see w how you like your ribbon to signify that rope connecting all these LEDs together. And then all you have to do is grab a photo, cut it into a circle so that it fits inside this fun ornament. Oh, and definitely you still actually have to... <laughs> I made a little loop at the very top so I had some, an easy way to actually hang this ornament on my Christmas tree. There we go. So yeah, then it's time to test it out. Put on, put in the batteries, turn it on, and hang it on up. Woo! So excited. And there we have it. Our light up ornament is ready to be hung on the tree. I am super excited to have completed this and to hang it on my tree. I love doing holiday projects like this because they make me smile and really enjoy this time of year. If you liked this holiday project or any of the other ones, definitely like and subscribe because there'll be some more fun ones coming. We'll see you next time.